I'm Gene Kamami, and in this video, the Green Valley Recreation Camera Club is going to show you how to use their large-scale printer. Producing large extension size prints seems like it would be a really complicated process, but as you'll see, it isn't. Okay, um, the first thing you need to do to make a large print is to turn the printer on. Um, you may come in and find out that the printer's already turned on, but the button on the front with the blue light turns the printer on. You need to open up the paper feed tray on the top if it's not already open, and the paper discharge tray on the bottom if it's not already open. Put a sheet of paper in the printer, shiny side facing you. Make sure it clicks all the way down in the holder. Don't just drop it in, but actually make sure it's all the way down in the feeder. And the little tab is next to it. The next thing, once the printer's loaded, you need to have your picture on a flash drive. And then you'll plug the flash drive into the computer in one of the flash drive ports. When a flash drive is plugged into the computer, the computer may open it automatically. If not, the drive will need to be opened with the Windows File Manager. Once the flash drive is opened, the photo that is printed or they're going to be printed needs to be found and selected. When you do that, the photo will then open in the Windows Photo Viewer. Once the photo is fully loaded, some icons will appear in the top of the screen. Click the printer icon in the upper right corner and the printer control window will open. Look at the printer control window. The printer box will have the name of an Epson printer in it. The copy box will automatically default to one. The paper tray will default to the correct sheet feeder. The paper size window is critical to the whole process. In this sample, we're using letter size, eight and a half by 11 inch paper. The camera club has other sizes available. Make sure the correct paper size is selected. Be careful as some paper sizes are encoded with names like A2 and B3. The paper type should be set to photo glossy. So you're looking, if you have to change it, you're going to look down to a glossy paper and find it. Now, the photo size should be set to full page. The page margins should be set to normal. You'll have to scroll down to find the last setting, which is fit, and it needs to be fill the page. The view of the photo in the printer control window is a what you see is what you get view. The picture should show on a gray background with no white surrounding it. If you see a little photo surrounded by white, stop and double check the printer settings. If the photo was cropped in a photo editor to a non-standard aspect ratio, some white may appear. That white area cannot be adjusted out in the printer control window. That white will have to be physically trimmed from the final print. If the photo is displayed on a gray background with no white surrounding it, click the print button on the lower bottom of the printer control window and sit back 
and relax. An Epson ink window will open and the printing process will start. Be patient. The process may take a few minutes. Once the print has finished, take it out. Make sure you let it dry for a couple of minutes so that you don't get fingerprints in the ink. And you now have a top quality enlargement. Thank you.